Hello guys, Magic the Wizard here. Uh, Castle Crashers. This is gonna be a series now. I would be playing Borderlands, but Brothers being annoying, so I'm not. Now, eventually, I'll um, show you my actual account. I made a new one for YouTube on here. This is the Switch. See? Can't see it like that, but. It's also in a different run. I'm just gonna be basic Red Knight because he's the first guy I've ever played when I started this game way back when it came out on Xbox because DLCs run out and now we have the remastered version on the Switch. So on the other one, I started out at the Blacksmith because I wanted to play him, he's cool. My friend had him, I never did. My brothers always played Ice Knight first. I personally don't like him, and he used to be a spam lord. He still is, but he doesn't play as much as I do. That's the evil dude, the wizard. Wish I could play as him. It'd fit uh, my character, or at least my YouTube, Magic the Wizard. Even though he's more of a sorcerer, I don't care. This is better than what I have now. Now I have a death combo. Let's see if I can do it. It's literally just that. You get them bouncing off the wall. I normally don't use my shield just because I don't want to. I'd rather get rid of the enemies as fast as I can. But sometimes it's useful. Like when you're up against a certain kind of enemy in this because all they do is spam arrows. And it's the worst. There's magic. I missed. I missed again. Missed again. That's the most I've ever missed in a row. This X here. You need a shovel to dig it up. I don't have it yet. You get that in the late game. Now, what I plan to do each episode is either get and beat to a bot, either get to and beat a boss. Or just get right before a boss. Now, Zach, my brother, might play eventually. But I don't want him to. Because I don't like him as much. I mean, he's rude. I'm trying to hit my magic, but it sucks at the start. Does like two damage, except Red Knight stuns. Instead, I just call him like the Electric Knight or whatever because he shoots thunder or lightning, whatever it is. It really doesn't hit at the start, it doesn't nothing. But my brother plays Blue Knight because his is ice and it actually does freeze you in this. Sorry it's so blurry. Uh, my webcam is bad. I tried cleaning it a little bit to fix it. As you can tell, that didn't work out too well. And it is a little bright. I need a better camera. I'm hoping to get one. But I got a claw machine. So I'm gonna make at least 25 cents hopefully a day at school. I have one major problem with it. It's really, really loud. I have it because like two day, two, three days ago, we went to Walmart and I got the thing at a thrift store, the claw machine. I like it. It's fun, but it's really loud. But I went to Walmart, spent about $30 on candy for it. Ate about ten dollars worth the day I bought it, cause it's candy, and I'm fourteen. It still tastes really good. Here's the new move I got. It does next to no damage. It's mainly just a getaway. Also, I'm on a subreddit now. I joined a subreddit called uh. 
r slash small youtubers and r slash get more views yt on reddit just because hey i am a small youtuber with most of my subscribers either being my own account or family and friends and they don't even watch my videos it's a big sad but oh well i'm actually gonna upload this and while it's uploading I am going to go to the subreddit and say, hey, I posted a new video. You should got you guys should go watch it. Also, thanks to whoever commented on my post on Reddit. Because I actually replied to it after checking it earlier today, like half an hour ago. And I was on Reddit and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna make another video. It's been like a week. Finally got the bow. You can float with it. These are the annoying guys that arrow spam. Because enemy arrows travel forever. And in a straight line. Well, right away, yours curve. And deal next to no damage. Well, theirs does the max possible damage at that time. There's a specific pet I'm going to be trying to get right away, too. Called Giraffe, even though it's a while before you get him. But he's one of the most useful pets in the game, because he gives you more XP to level up. And the way XP works in this is you get it from attacking enemies. See that big machine back there? That's the first boss. Technically. I would... I'm okay with calling it a mini-boss. Because it has a boss health bar... But it's more like a mini boss. Because it says, hey, this is how bosses somewhat work. They're all unique, kind of. All have their own attacks. The first one, well, the first one that says an actual boss, because it has a boss door. Um, he's got one move I don't like, and you'll see it this episode if I get there fast enough. And it looks like I probably will. Actually, now that I think about it, I think each episode will be an area. See, I told you guys I'd be fighting this thing. Doing low damage right now, and right, right away leveling up does nothing for you mid-level. Besides fully heal you. That's all it does mid-level. Making it practically useless in the levels, but right afterwards you actually get to use those levels, because you get skill points. And there are four different things you can put them into. There's defense, which increases your health. There's strength, which increases your melee damage. These, the light attacks and heavy attacks. There's magic, which increases your magic damage and gives you more moves. And there's an agility one, which increases your speed and bow shot speed and strength it also increases your distance from the bow now my brother immediately goes for filling up his magic because that's his favorite thing to use and ironically it is kind of my favorite thing to use depending on what i'm fighting otherwise i feel like just doing that's more useful and kills things faster which is really what i want in this game is to clear each area as fast as possible. Also, um, in the comment section, uh, comment below what game you want me to play next is just a random episode. It'll probably be a series, but not like episode one, two, nothing like that. Just, hey, here's another episode of this. You should watch it. Because there is um, one game for now I can think of. Well, two. Either another Binding of Isaac episode, or Dead Cells. Dead Cells is really hard. And I'd rather show you guys how okay I am at that. But if you want to see how Dead Cells can go, go watch Tear of Grace's videos on it. I think they're like a year or two old, but still. They show how hard the game can really be. And he's better at it than me and has DLCs. I have one DLC because it's free. 
So I don't know if it really counts, but it was in the DLC section. We're already at the 10 minute mark. And this is the third level. Also, that little stomp you seen, it has killed me so much. There's like three of these doors. Almost to the boss. I should know, I've beaten this game multiple times over. Even as Red Knight. A few days ago when I started playing this, we got it one day, and then within the next six hours I had it beaten as the blacksmith. Hear that door scraping? It's probably a cat. Yeah, that stump right there has gotten me killed so many times as the blacksmith. Because it always does it when I'm surrounded in a horde of enemies. That's a boss door. Before this boss starts, though, I'm gonna go get cat and get rid of it. Which one is it? It's the worst cat that we have. He's the worst cat that we have because he bites and scratches everything, including people. And now he's actively trying to attack the big dog in the house. Literally like four or five times the size of the cat. And it's the biggest cat in the house, biggest, fattest. Uh, his nickname when we moved in was Hall Monitor. For a very good reason, he would sit in the entryway and just hiss at you, scratch at you, try to bite you, and he was just a really annoying cat when we first moved in. Then we got some cats of our own who didn't do anything to him, but he just got a lot friendlier. And none of the cats even went to attack him at all. That's the move I don't like. Or that one. But yeah, this is the first official boss of the game. I'm bad at commentary still. Also, hello people at the subreddits I'm on. I know I talked about it a little bit earlier, but still. It's just nice knowing that there are literally places to go to help small YouTubers out. Like me. There we go. Now then, once you beat a boss, it's a lot different in multiplayer. Cause see Princess up here? Well, once you free her, if there's still more than one person alive on multiplayer, it's a fight to the death. And you'll see why. Once you do that, the players would line up, facing each other, and then fight to the death. Just for this. Boom, boom. Grey Knight. Okay. Um. Yeah, see? Defense is health and defense. Agility, speed, and archery, strength, and damage, and magic power, and magic recharge. Okay, so that's the end of the first section, and honestly, I'm tempted to end the video here. Like, seriously, I am. Mm. <laughs> no, I will, but first... Uh, wrong button. Exit game. Yes. Where I head over to my normal account. And I'm going to show you my blacksmith. Oh yeah, Hattie Haddington from Battle Blocks in this. Uh, level 43. If that's skull in the top right, means I'm in insane mode. I also have 
alien from Alien Hominid. Or hom Hominid, whatever it is. He's broken. His first magic move is overpowered. Hattie throws gems and he cries. He has the golden whale. I'm just gonna show you guys where to get Hattie and what my blacksmith here can do. It said visit the blacksmith to change your weapon. That's true. He's here. But right here, the insane store. You get these cool weapons that are really expensive. But here's my moves. It's a very spammable character. <laughs> if you remember this from Hattie Haddington's game about a black theater. But you need 1200 to get him. He's right here. You just buy him. I still don't know what this is for. And I don't know if I want to know what this is for. Um... Yeah, that's just really cool. <laughs> if I was going to get any of these weapons, it'd either be this thing or the chainsaw. Because this is health and defense. And as criticals, this is strength and criticals. This is just a boost to everything. Almost everything. And a minus to ag agility. It's cool. Um, I know what I need to get a character. Here's where you can want the alien just beat the level. But you head up here to this level, you need a certain pet to get a weapon to get unlock another pet. Here's the final boss. You could fight him again on camera, but I'm not gonna. Because it takes a long time, because he has five phases. Instead of what you would think would be three. Um, right here has a boss. Two of them. Here is a boss. Here is a boss. Here is a boss. Here. Here. Um, here's a runaway. I'll do the runaway because that's easy. Um, just fought the barbarian boss. He's here. You have a boss right here, Medusa. You got a boss here. You have a boss right here. You have three bosses here. The final boss there. So I'll show you the barbarian boss level again. You just seen me fight him on the other account. But he's super easy to whoop with this guy. Also this is the strongest sword I have. That's the final boss's sword. It tricks you to make you think it's him, but no. It's him. The big bruiser. Now see how full his health bar is? Yeah, watch that drain. That's the fastest I've ever killed him. That's just a great way to grind for about 100 coins each time. I would rather fight the second boss, the Cyclops. Or the, I guess it's the third, but... Oh well. Because he drops... Better money things. Do, 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 do. And then I'll show you the runaway one. Because this level's also fun. Now, which of these deer do you think is my favorite? Pretty sure it's the one on the left, but it's randomized sometimes. Yep. Uh, everyone who plays with us calls him Poopy. If you can't tell by his diarrhea stream. It doesn't matter how many times I get hit in this, I won't die. But you ride deer running away from this thing, which you do see again. Don't know why his eyes are bleeding, though. As you can see, my bow in this is a lot cooler, at least the arrow is. And I shoot much faster. Yeah, after this level, it's gonna be the end of the video. Um, like and subscribe, all that jazz. Also, comment any video editors that work well for YouTube. And just cool things that I could use for YouTube. And a good microphone and camera. Or webcam, I guess. I don't know. 
I just need some better stuff because as you can tell this camera kinda bad but at least it works better than the Chromebook camera uh, I need a good microphone so that way you can hear what my voice actually sounds like because the Chromebook's built-in microphone is so bad I don't actually sound like how I sound a lot deeper because of the Chromebook microphone I ain't supposed to sound like I'm 40 years old and this is just the start of the next level that I ain't doing but yeah that's my barbarian or not barbarian um blacksmith anyway this was cast crashers remastered episode one i'll see all you people in the next video please like subscribe comment down below dead cells or binding of isaac for next video or borderlands or this i don't know bye